no, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. I never wanted to, to work with him. The rivalry between the hip-hop prodigy Diddy and 50 Cent has been going on since the time of Adam and Eve. The foes once friends have been in a race with one another and have produced amazing content to grab the largest fan base. The feud between the rappers has also created many controversies over the years, and the artists have been quite vocal in throwing mud over each other's names. Quite a similar story has elevated again as 5 o Cent blasts Rick Ross and blames him for being Diddy's lapdog, and he is disgusted by how Rick is defending Puff's name and the abuse he has done. Curtis Jackson, greatest contribution to the culture of hip hop is his fashion sense. What abuse is the indie club artist talking about? What does Diddy have to do with Rick Ross? Well, the story might be a little dust. Let's wipe it off and dive into the details. The beef took off first a few years ago when 50 Cent took the dispute to another level by going hands-on with his rival rapper through his Instagram. The artist posted two pictures on the social media platform insinuating that they are gay, and also pushed his opinion that it is not right. The caption on his post said, I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right. One of the pictures Curtis put up gave the idea that the duo is kissing, while the other controversial click showed Diddy sporting a pink shirt while embracing Rick, who was also dressed in pink. However, the fans did not like the rapper's intervention in their favorite artist's lives, and thus, 50 Cent had to take the post down soon. It seemed like the rapper knew that he had taken it a little too far this time. 50 Cent just did not stop here. He was thirsty for more, and recently, he got his chance. On November 10th, Rick Ross released his album Too Good To Be True. The release was a collaboration of Rick and Meek Mill. However, things went south as the project failed to make sales. The rivals thought of it as a golden opportunity to bash the pair and 50 Cent took his bite too. On his social media, the rapper taunted the release duo as the sales only managed to cross 31,000 units. The artist humorously taunted, Oh no, you might want to spend some quiet time to strategize and reevaluate. LOL London second show sold out. Newcastle tomorrow night sold out. The dissed rapper, Rick Ross, did not handle the insult well, so he decided to reply, and his tone suggested envy. The rapper started off by highlighting the biggest contribution of 50 Cent to the hip-hop world, his music. No, his fashion sense, responding to humor using humor, well played. Rick further went on to mock and alleged Curtis for wearing fake jewelry. Every time he wear that and them two fake crosses he be wearing, y'all fake stop. Ross decided to use stats in his message as he mentioned his high grossing releases over the years and pointed out that Port of Miami sold 187,000 copies in its first week. The artist added that his work has made him rich, and he still has enough fortune to cry over a flop release as he stated, N, we've been rich, we're still making money. Clearly, Rick was not happy about 50 Cent mocking him, and their past suggests that the duo has not been quite the ideal friends. And this might be why Ross decided to make the dispute even more personal. The rapper took a leap towards using 50 Cent's girlfriend to embarrass him. Ross informed the fans that he got messages referring to Curtis's reaction, and he responded to them by throwing allegations at Cuban Link, the rival's girlfriend. Ross stated, I got a DM saying, Rose, we believe 50 Cent just made a comment about you online. I seen it and I said to myself, y'all don't know 50 Cent like I do. He wouldn't do that. For one, his B dream chases. She been a dream chaser B for many years, still is. That's when she told me I was her favorite. For myself, y'all don't know 50 Cent like I do. He wouldn't do that. For one, his bitch dream She been a dream chaser Yeah, still is. That's when she told me I was her favorite. The rapper was frustrated as he jumped to 50 Cent's financial situation, suggesting he might not be as powerful as he claims to be. Diddy has faced many abuse allegations, and this made him step down from the chairman position of Revolt. After that, 50 Cent decided to purchase the network. Charlemagne, a fellow rapper, praised the purchase deal as he called Kurti a diabolical genius. I ain't diabolical. It's having a little fun. Get to the money. Get money, make you diabolical. That's what make you diabolical, Charlemagne. However, Rick was not much of a fan of the term being used for the G-Unit rapper. The Maybach Music Group boss took verbal shots against Chalamet's statements as he highlighted the fact that 50 Cent filed for bankruptcy and then stepped up to buy a whole network. He did not seem very impressed by the rapper getting praised, as he said using humor does not make one diabolical. He expressed, There's something else I seen that I thought was actually kind of cute, Charlemagne referred to 50 Cent as a diabolical genius. And me thinking the way I think of Charlemagne, he would know better than that. A diabolical genius doesn't file foreclosure, doesn't file bankruptcy. A diabolical genius for my next generation of young bosses, they buying Delta, they buying the Miami Heat. 
They making big boy moves. Cracking jokes on somebody doesn't make you diabolical. The rapper concluded with his own take on the definition of the term diabolical. According to him, money makes a person worthy to be called that as he concluded with a remark about Charlemagne. Getting money make you diabolical. That's what makes you diabolical, Charlemagne. Stop D. Diddy has been the center of attention in the hip-hop world over the years. Where he has been praised for the quality of his work, he has also faced far more criticism for the lawsuits filed against him. When the rapper decided to withdraw from Revolt, the fans had mixed emotions about it as some believed he deserved jail time while a few believed in his innocence. When 50 Cent decided to buy the network, the rival's fans went furious as it was a major setback for Diddy, and where some praised him, people who did with Diddy took taunts at Curtis. Due to Rick's statement where he bashed 50 Cent for his act, the rapping artist's fans believed that the rapper was trying to hide the evil deeds of Diddy, and 50 Cent already proved with his Instagram post that there is something fishy between Rick and Puff. In an interview, 50 Cent was asked if he had anything to give Ross credit for referring to his career achievements, to which the rapper gave a straightforward reply, No, the television producer stated, No, there's nothing there. He also added that never in his career 50 Cent was interested in working with Ross. The actor also mentioned that the artists who come under Rick all have criminal histories. And also, Rick was a correction officer. The rapper also stated his reason for not wanting to work with Rick in an interview a few years back, as he stated that his fellow rapper is a police officer and is under oath. He made it clear that he did not want any altercation with the law enforcement agencies. However, we are all well aware of the series of disputes which came after it. I'm not used to having altercation with law enforcement. 50 Cent also stated his opinion that Rick is not going to stay around in the industry for long, as according to him, the rivals were not making new content, but rather forcing around the same type of releases again and again. He explained, I don't know what his value is to music culture at this moment, he said. I never made music with him. I don't have any interest in making music with him. You watch guys, a lot of these guys, even when you make reference to music culture and stuff like that, they're one trick ponies, so they're going to be gone. The fans, when they witnessed the 50 Cent and Rick Ross dispute, made up their own minds about who actually won the most recent dispute. Many fans had the idea that 50 Cent absolutely destroyed Rick, and if it had not been for Diddy's support, 50 Cent would have come out victorious by a large margin. One user commented, 50 did destroy Ross, it took Diddy and Jay to come to his aid, and you know that JT you traitor. Rick Ross's fans also made sure they had their say in the dispute, as one of the rapper's fans mentioned the superiority of Rick's album over 50 cents. The user mentioned, I would buy a Rick Ross album way before a 50 album, it's no comparison. That's all for today's video guys, thanks for watching.